you guys, it's Mary. And Emma. Be right back to like, subscribe, share, and comment down below. You say we are reviewing Love and Marriage Huntsville. And yes. I am severely disappointed. I am mm. upset. Oh. Because this week was supposed to be the fight. There's no fight. Oh. I feel set up and I feel bamboozled. Whoever sat down in the comment section told me that it was going to be next week. They lied to us both, girl. Well, guess what? The, the network probably lied to her. <laughs> or him. I know. <laughs> They're going to drag this out for, for as at long least as the next three and weeks. And I did not see the fight this time for the next week. I, I did didn't not. either. So I don't but think that's But the reason why I even started watching Love and Marriage Huntsville again was for the fight. And now I am in this and, no fight, and there's no fight. Yes. I'm but getting tired of y'all playing me. Very interesting content, though. Yes, you guys. Maurice is only a comedian when Kimmy is seriously talking yeah, about, serious something. about something. Like, he's such an a hole. Like, yeah. the difference I can say between Morriso and Maurice, Maurice just, I don't really feel like there's a serious care for Kimmy. Like, as so. a person. I don't Marceau, think so. I, think I he, don't think so at yeah. all. I think he looks at Kimmy. And as I, what he can get from her. Yes, and I think like as some kind of asset. Yeah. As some kind of body. That could be why he's divorced. Yeah. And I feel as though that's sometimes the problem with people who are divorced. Um oh, they, 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 I know. Oh god. That was so good. And and they what happens with people who are divorced sometimes is when they want that next person, they look at them as what I can get, you know, from them. What I didn't get from like, like with him now, it's all about sex with him. You know, she gotta give him sex every day, twice a day, twice a day when they went now, to this retreat. Listen, I completely believe you know, in having sex twice a day with your husband. I think it. I mean, it's at least every day. Yeah. I feel like that's the only way that, that connects you guys. Yeah. But I feel like it I has to be thing. something that you both want. Share. It can, it's, it's a sharing yes. experience. It's, it's not where you thing. have to give it to him. But it's you two come together. You both connect. This but he is said, basically saying can that. Can we just use it as what well, we want to release some energy <laughs> as an exercise? That's why I know he can't be pleasing her in the bed. He can't be because he thinks he's talking about himself. I'm he sorry. doesn't care. I know she's you not are getting off. Pleasing that woman in bed. You would not be talking Even like this. Even when she is busy, she is going to make time for that quickie. Because you're pl because she's getting different it all the time. Yes, and I know this for a fact. I know this for a fact. Okay, even if I don't care how super busy she is, and it's just five minutes, she knows in that five minutes she's she, gonna get off. She's gonna enjoy herself. She's gonna have a smile on her face for the rest of the day. She's gonna make that very quick time for that. So he can't possibly. Be pleasing her. Be pleasing of Kimmy not. sexually at all. That's why after they have sex, she says, what does she do? She gets up to go clean. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's in, he's in the heat. Well, he, he fall gets, asleep. So that means that she handled her business. But bruh, you didn't handle yours. Because the next thing she want to do, she probably thinking about anything but what what you all are doing when you all are doing it is you think all the lists you gotta do i gotta clear i, gotta I know because she said that's what she be thinking about i'm sorry if i'm getting the, so if i'm getting it well i am not going to be thinking about cleaning i'm going to be completely present in that moment so i just feel so like he's not, he's not pleasing her no that's and, why you all are having an issue with this but you see after, but also he doesn't care for her like if you really want to make time for you you will be making sure that her schedule is it's like a little bit free like you want to be taking off taking that burden off of her but you don't really care this about her like that works outside the home she's an rn and then you want her to be a housewife though but but, but you're not providing you're not, not providing not completely no because she's working outside Listen, the home remember bobby from, obviously she um, don't trust him no because even if he's the one paying the bills she obviously doesn't trust him completely that he got her that's why she's still working Listen, and having Mary, her own little stash of money. There was a guy on Married at First Sight named Bobby. Okay. And he was dating this girl, Danella. They, well, they got married at first sight or whatever. This woman was talking about how she wants to be, oh, you yeah, know, yeah, a yeah. working mom and all yes, this stuff or whatever. Yes, sure Girl, did. this man, he took her debt, her $40,000 debt, paid for it. He took her, um, what, makeup money, which was almost $2,000 $2, a month. 
he paid for all of that. Yeah. And within a year, she was a housewife. She, sure she left was, her job. Was pregnant, even though she was like, pregnant. Oh, she pregnant has right away. She has had three kids for him. She still looks good. She still looks tight. She still look right. Yes. When a man has you, you yes. will, you you will ask that. me yes. And you're you, not no. going to continue to work. The fact no. that Kimmy continues to do this is because she knows that he ain't he, got her. He, view, he doesn't. He, he, he ain't, ain't got, got her. her. He ain't got her. You said it, girl. He ain't, he got, ain't her. got her at all, and it, it makes me sad. It really does it because she's sad. And he because always is basically a, patting her on the head yeah. by kissing her. I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna do better. And she's looking at him like, like this, degenerate. like as he's <laughs> laughing and <laughs> making you know, joke's about I, it. I, first of all, I never know more. He's not to funny. Laugh like this. But no. any time, some serious destiny. This is something that she's really talking about. I don't know if Kimmy's going to stay with Maurice for long. I really don't know. I don't think so. I I, I don't think so. Because if he continues on this way... She looks she, kind of fed up. Yeah. She looks so she, done. She's going to... You know what she's going to do? She's going to take the money that she has been squirreling away. <laughs> she's going to be gone. Yeah. Like, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame her. I wouldn't blame her at all. Because she was with this man for seven years before, before he, he finally married her. married her. Any he man that was, has you waiting for more yeah. than two years, and two years is a lot was, of time. He, was, you, he, was he ain't about you. I'm sorry. As a sexual whatever. I remember she, she was getting do, whips and toys and all that stuff. She had to stuff. do all of that stuff. Before to, for, for him to marry her. Yeah, and I think and, she was older than him too. Yeah, and so I, there's that desperation as well. Uh, I really think he does not really care for her. I think the difference between Maurice and Marceau, I feel like Marceau actually cares for Tisa. There yeah. is a partnership there. Yeah. And even though she lets him lead, yeah. I think she trusts him enough to yeah. let him lead. Yeah. He is a provider. You know what but I'm saying? But when he gets, the thing about Marceau is this, when Tisa gets serious about something. Oh, he listens. He, he listens. He but listens. He ain't trying to get divorced. No. He makes sure that all the little doubts are plugged in. Yes. He is like, well, it's he look around. Oh, is that a little hole a rat could come through? I better plug that up. Let me clean that in. up. Let me. Yeah. So he is. He knows when he can. Consistently doing that. And yeah. when she is saying the same thing over and over, he doesn't go with, well, why do you keep on saying this over and over? No. He makes sure. He listens. He. he, he and he, he handles it. That. Yeah. You know? He doesn't want Tisa to go anywhere. He oh, doesn't. No. He doesn't. No, he's actually he, trying to leave a legacy. I actually, he's trying to leave a legacy, and I actually believe that he values her. And mm -hmm. I think he sees the importance of his marriage. And, and I, I'm and sure I he think, knows that really the marriage is in debt to Tisa because yeah. she lets this man lead, yeah. and she trusts him wholeheartedly. And then the other and he thing trusts too, her. Where are you going to find another woman in this day and age who is going to? You know, like the way things are going now in this world. I would even where the way you that don't find a woman who is willing to listen to you while you're talking, and who is willing to let you lead. You know, and even though sometimes you may be out of pocket, she covers you. Where are you gonna find that? Listen, I honestly do without believe really putting in some serious work and having your stuff together. Because women these days. They're not just taking half half. They want you to come. But I feel like Marcel does put made. in work though. They were high school sweethearts, so yeah. of course there was some building together. That's what but, I'm saying. But I mean, yeah, yeah. You're what not you're going saying to find sense, yeah. that. You're not going to find that now. No. At the age that he is in. Yeah, no, of course not. You know what you're I'm saying? You're going to definitely have That's to have yourself why together. Those of you who got married to that, your first love, whatever, you better you better, you better hold on to that tight. Because if you go out there now in this dating world right mm -hmm. now. The women, they, you know, women have gotten smarter through the years. Women have actually come to their senses, they want I believe. They you made. They want your shit together. Financially, to her, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. And they themselves are leveling up too. Yes. The women themselves are leveling up. And they expect you to be there at their level or higher. Yes, And of mostly course. higher. Where are you going to find that at? Nowhere. You, and, and he's wise enough to know that. And you know, also, I really, it takes me back to, I think, um, I think in the early, I think season one, season two. He's like, I where don't need Tisa, to go out and cheat and, and go to even the strip club. He was like, I don't need to be doing all that stuff. I actually have someone at home. Yeah. You know, I like remember. all of that. I, 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 and he said, I've done all of that. I don't need to go back to do all of that to stroke my ego. Yeah. 
you know? And I even remember season one, season two, where he basically, I think Tisa had left him or whatever to go be a career woman or whatever. She was trying to oh, do yeah. her own thing. Yeah, I remember. And he was left at home or whatever. Yeah. And he's like, what woman leaves her kids at home with the husband? <laughs> <laughs> I think he really admired Tisa that day. Because he was like, oh my God, yeah. I didn't even know he was allergic to peanut butter. <laughs> like, I think... And he then, was like, she really has to put up with a lot because it's like three or four kids. Yeah. And I think and he came to the senses like, I see why she's leaving me. She is going to the workforce. This is a lot to handle. <laughs> While he was there, I'm sitting about, oh, I gotta have my golf. I know. I, mean, I need to go and relax yes. too, bro. You and better sit yourself at home. He could not stand Mrs. Wanda. He was happy for her he to has, come and do the babysitting because he's like, because he knows after it's the hard. first two days, he's like, oh, shit, oh, I, hell no. I will not I be left with these things. kids no more. Tisa, where mom at? <laughs> yeah, you know, where your mom at? Where Miss Wanda at? Yeah. yeah. I mean, even though he might not like that lady, he definitely has put up with a lot. Yeah. You know, especially with Tisa's family. But I think yeah. he, he values Tisa he above values all else. Tisa. And it's a and genuine he values partnership. The marriage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he actually values the marriage and, and even all though that sometimes stuff. he does have his little sexist comments, yeah. I, I think he actually values her. And, he values and, her and he respects her as a woman. And I yeah. do admire Tisa for, you know, allowing him to lead. Like yeah. a, a woman allowing a man to lead yeah. is not just her being it's not about being submissive because I don't believe in a woman being submissive yeah. to a man. Because you su- you submit yourself to God first. Right. You know, you don't submit yourself to a man. But yeah. you have to be able I think it's like you have to trust your yeah. man. Yeah. To be able to lead, you have to trust that he's a good leader. You have to trust that he has you physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Yeah. So even though you're letting him and lead, he, you're also God conscious. You have because, to. He has to submit himself to God first yeah. before anything. Because then he's going to be a good man to you. Exactly. So I you feel know, like all of yeah. that stuff, a woman has to be able to lead herself in that decision. So yeah. I feel like there's leading on both parts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I feel like it works for them. Yeah. It actually works for them. So yeah. I'm yeah. happy for them. Them. Yeah, I really. There's so am. many people, like he has said, through the years are in their business. So many people, but they're like still that. successful, and I think they're going to have a marriage I that will so. last forever. Yeah. I really do. I Maurice, so. I don't think so. I think Kimmy Maurice. has put up with too much, and he continues to pat her on the head like a little dog, and he doesn't right. value Listen, her. You all, women, please get in. There, the I say he thinks of her as a sex object she to a certain extent. Women, get in the comments and let 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 Maurice know if you if you if you have also seen the look in Kimmy's eye that she is having enough, she is getting fed up. Please get in the comments and let Maurice know because. I don't think that particular elevator going all the way up to understand what her eyeballs say. Not at all. You know, oh, you need to go talk to your brother. Let him tell you about the woman's eyeballs. Because when Tisa be giving him some look, he or she walks away and starts to cry, oh, Mar- uh, Marcel, get get on that train. I, okay, I got to comfort this woman. I have to reassure her. But Maurice, you're not reassuring him. I remember he did a beautiful date night for her right outside of work. He had like this little bubble date or whatever. He had dinner or whatever, stuff like that. And she was wearing a little sexy dress. I thought it was so cute. I love their marriage. Yeah. What I love about the women on this this, um, love in Huntsville, they have kept themselves up, all of them. Yeah. Melody, Destiny, Tisa, Kimmy. Yeah. They have all kept themselves up through the years. And I just, I love to see that. Love to see that, and Maurice, you will miss Kimmy so much because I don't know who else you're going to get who's going to put up with your rubbish and your like sexist behavior and your lack of sensitivity and like not really listening to her. I don't know what woman you think it's coming your way because I think maybe he feels like, um. You know, I, I can get anyone because I am successful. Let me tell women are needing more than that. They're going to need more than that. So if I were you, I would try I to get Claudine to Yeah. Because she looks, she really looks fed up. She does. When she was looking, when she was talking to Dr. Francis. And I'm sure and she gets tired of him kissing joke. her on the forehead. I'm sure she's well, so well, sick first of that. Well, you used to actually pat her on the head. Yeah. Now, he hugs her. Even though she's resisting and kisses her on the cheek, <laughs> I don't know how he does. I would see get it. so sick like, and tired of that, honestly. Yeah, it's not it's not funny to her, you know, because a woman 
wants to be heard. It's, it's she just, wants to be seen and respected. That, you think a woman doesn't want to like, enjoy have her sex egg or orgasm too? And, and and enjoy that until she loses consciousness or falls asleep. You think she don't want to get that too? Of course she does. You think you that you is the only one. And as women get older, their libido is actually higher than yeah. the men. It is like a teenage boys. Okay, that's how it is. Don't think because we just we just know how to pretend like we're not feeling that. You know, it's not like a man, ooh, my, you know, a teenage boy, your stuff just go up. Women, you know, even if your nipples get hard, you put a nipple cover. Ain't nobody going to know that you're feeling whatever the hell you're feeling. <clears throat> but that doesn't mean that we don't feel those things. So Kimmy, she's in the prime of her sexual life. And, and she, is she not wanting to has sex. to get up after sex and go clean right away. Oh, hell no. She's not going to put up with you. Free her from like, this marriage. Don't let that woman. <laughs> when she gets to 50, she probably will be like, peace. Chalking up the deuces. And that's why. Because she, isn't she a nurse? Yeah, she is. And that's, that's an exhausting. Exa you are a nurse. She's a so that's nurse, exhausting. But she also works on the business. Because I've seen yeah. her. Well, you know where Tisa's office is. Then you want to also Kimmy be a housewife. Too. A working mom and a so housewife. So she got two jobs. And... You want her to be the housewife because you can't do it. And you can't hire a housekeeper. He is a I'm degenerate. Sorry. That woman probably, she really stuck in away some serious coin with them two jobs. She's making sure she going to be just fine. So when she leaves you, she actually will be just fine. Whether you all sign a prenup or not. She herself, because she knows what the prenup is, she herself will be just fine. Saving up all them nursing nursing coins. That's why she hasn't left her job. She can't trust this man. Yeah. She can't trust him. I, I wouldn't trust him with a 10-foot pole. I wouldn't even trust him with a 12-inch with a ruler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. That means you can't even trust him from here to here. No. no wonder she was sitting all stiff like this, looking at him. And she wasn't smiling. She was just like... Because she said that, you know, he what he says is all nice and stuff, but then um, he, he never, never falls, falls through. through. And that's why he was there since talking about how, you know, you know, during the rope challenge, you know, me and Kimmy really have a lot of work to do. Yeah. Like, he couldn't even get to keep the rope to stay up his leg or whatever. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. Yeah. Because you don't give a damn about you know, this about woman. Her opinion. Even a if she marriage says, is two do people, don't yeah. It's two people. Yeah. And, that, and that's, you know. Foolish. It's just foolishness. It's foolish. And I do feel sad for her. Now she's here. She's just a gossipy ninny. Kim has become a gossipy ninny. She goes That's to Destiny. That's the only thing she has to look forward to in doing. life. She don't gossip about the Whitlow. <laughs> she don't gossip about Melody. Talk about Melanica. Yeah. And I'm just like, Kimmy, you have become a gossipy ninny. Because I... nothing is going on in her relationship. It's not going. That's why Tiffany also was a gossipy ninny. Remember? Because yeah. her relationship ain't good. Well, now she has shut up, though. I'm happy because oh. you were all up in people's marriage, and he's there smashing TVs because you're not giving him enough sex. That man who's so crude. I know he ain't pleasing yeah. nobody but his damn self in I that know. bedroom. He's, he's very crude. If he would be that crude to women, you can Random you can, you can women. Imagine Random women. How he talks to her during sex that just will just, your libido will be like this, and then it just comes straight there. It probably even when it go up, it's just, it'll just stay stagnant no, just to get go through down. it. That's like a downward curve. Yeah, huh. I mean, he ain't much to look at either. So, anyway, <laughs> let's talk about it. Tiffany likes him. I mean, he's tall. The guy is tall. I, listen, I, I I love tall men. Yeah, but I can't do the dad bod. I'm sorry. If yeah. you see me with a person with a dad bod, you know I've lost my mind. Um, but or maybe he's just great in everything else. <laughs> And you can get what a vegan diet or something. Anyway, um, uh, but let's talk about Melody spread and rumors, honey. Listen, y'all. You know, I used to really love Mel, but I feel like when I started seeing her in the back seasons, she has like this. I don't know. She has like an egotistical vibe about her, yeah. and her and Martel are kind of one and the same sometimes. <laughs> so that's my only issue with her. But I do not trust any rumor that she puts out there because the fact that she went and said that um, I kind of tried to camp for Tisa's marriage, I really did not like her after tried that. To what? Remember in the like earlier season, she was trying to come for Tisa's marriage. And she oh, was yeah, spreading yeah, all yeah, those yeah, lies. Yeah, yeah. I, didn't know I she really was in could a bad not. Space like she was. Um, 
you know, like when someone is cheating on you, and then they're friends with your husband. But I feel like she can be just, kind of mean sometimes. Yeah. Even when Destiny was, even when her and Destiny and were falling we, out, remember, and she was being all catty with her. Yeah. But remember, Martel was also spreading rumors, and that was to to get Mel off his back. You understand what I'm saying? Like to try to tell her. Well, I mean, I mean, I'm not the only one who cheats, Mel. I mean, Marceau and Maurice, they cheated too. And then Mel, you fall for that instead of being like, I don't give a damn what they doing. But I, you are married to me. I'm not married to them. But I also you know. feel like she does not like Tisa because, you know, even though she tried to say that she, he was cheating or whatever, she still stayed with her man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and all that stuff. I feel That's like she is upset because they were the it's couple for, a, for I guess, for a long time or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then they broke up and he disrespects her, embarrassed her so badly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That, you know, she kind of made was feeling embarrassed, ashamed. Yeah. Yeah. And then now she's looking at Tisa and Marshall and they're still happily together. So I do understand from that angle. Yeah. But I do feel like she has this tendency to be kind of mean. So I mean I don't know because when you're when you are, are in, in a, a bad space, place yeah, yeah you're going to be that way it's like what what Kimmy I never knew Kimmy to be gossiping like this Kimmy was always kind of even kill even kill and she was kind of above that gossipy like, stuff like she didn't right? really give a damn about all she that she wasn't that's why I'm just like Kimmy when did you become a little gossipy ninny you know what I'm saying anyway and yo. and um Mel but Melanica when Mel said that. I I think Melanica I kind of, has. I was kind of. I was kind of. Um, what's the word? I don't think he would have had sex with Melanica. I you don't think, think so? she's very much into Martel, I even though so. she is married. I but I don't so. think Martel would have gone there with a ten foot pole. You I don't think, think so. so. Oh, I don't think that's like his that. type. Okay, I don't think he's you. into her like that. I think okay. he knows that she has a crush on him. Okay. But um, Martel's not into that woman. Yeah. You you can tell. Well, she told Mel that he was cheating on Mel. But Mel says she has always felt. That Melanica and Marcel, Martel were getting it on. Well, maybe she felt and like that because she didn't trust Melanica. Look, and then, exactly. And then Martel, uh, I, I was like, oh man, when he said to Destiny, Oh, I'm, I'm not, not going to get to the drama or whatever. Get, I'm not going to take that I was like, wow, he has blah, really blah, grown. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, fast forward, ten minutes later, no, the trailer. Two seconds later, <laughs> here Martel is telling Melanica. Well, Melody said you wanted me, and we were yeah. having an affair. Yeah, we were having sex, and, and you're a married like, woman. Oh, Girl, Lord. don't but let Melanie come from Melody. Well, this, I don't will, this will end badly. badly. And Melanie look like one of those women who will fight. She will get there, and she will actually. I don't think Melody can fight. I really don't think so. She's like me. She I'll bark, no bite. Fight. She cannot fight to save her life. I don't even have a bite. I don't have a bark or a bite. <laughs> I have both, but I really don't. I don't fight. People. Actually, yeah, you actually, yeah. You I mean, both. I'll fight with my words all day, but yeah. I'm definitely not going to fight nobody physically. Yeah. I keep my nails done, honey. I'm yeah. not going to be fighting nobody. But you have no doubt. I fought one. Before. I fought. I fought one gay guy, and that was when I was 13. That was because he was trying to stab my brother with like a pin. Yeah, yeah. But I was him not out cold. Yeah, he, he was rolling down the hill. Yeah. But you don't come for my brother. You don't come for my younger brother. I'm his, like, second mom. <laughs> so you don't come for him. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, please, I hope she did not hurt him, like, kill him or something. <laughs> Lord have mercy. But anyway. But, yeah, we're not fighters here. We're, we're not fighters. fighters. We we fight with kindness. But Melody, she does not look like someone who knows how to fight. Melanica looks to me like she will take Mel. Any downtown day. any day so melody do not come for melanica don't do it don't do it but i but felt yeah. like i also feel like melody does not like tisa she does not like not melody does not like wanda so melody why has would... been in a bad space ever since this show started because it was then that we found out that martel has been cheating this whole entire time yeah. so so you know the real melody we haven't seen her. I don't yet. think we have. You no. know, the only time I th we began to see her was when she first left Martel. Yeah. Do you remember that? She and Tisa were beginning to get along. She and Kimmy. Right. She seemed to have let her, you know, guard down. Yeah. She seemed to have become vulnerable and yeah. a nice person. That's the exactly. real melody. Yeah. But she got back in on this weird space. Yeah. Now you're going to go. Fight Miss Wanda? Wanda. I mean, okay, so what? Uh, They're talking about your kids. I don't think that matters for real, for real. Like, if, you like know, you're going to fight. All your children look just like Martel. 
all of them look the same. He's Jesus so strong yeah. that they all look like him. That so would annoy me, one, though. I feel like that would really annoy me. If my husband did some really messed up stuff to me, we get divorced and all the kids look like him. Well, that will happen to that me. That would annoy me. <laughs> I don't look like my father. Yes, you do. Because no, I, I remember. I look like you. He, Tell me, do I look like my mom? What he I was, think I do. I think your mannerisms are like mine. But you look like your dad. When he was holding her, <laughs> someone said to him, he said, brother, you don't need no DNA test. That baby look just like you. And I look nothing like that, man. Y'all You want me to stop lying, mama? But, so, but I don't know why Melody. Why would you Jenny, go fight a woman who's pushing ninety? I don't 90. know why she needs to tell Martell this. I th- it's but just this is my thing that I also do not like about them. Like <sighs> when they are in a good spot, it's like it's always against them against the world, and they go ahead and they start fighting people and starting conflict for no reason. But then when they're, they're out, they want to go and be friends with everybody. Again, it's fake. What, Martell did not take the beats, but he told her to go do that. And he said, "Yeah, I think um, you should handle that because cause she gets me so upset, man. You know, you know, she gets me upset." She said, "Yeah, I'll handle it." Oh Lord, her yeah, mercy. girl. He, I feel like Marcel's really not feeling Melody like that. He might mm-hmm. miss her, yeah. but I don't feel like he's willing to go down that path with no, her because he I always think... ends up looking like an ass. He he does. Yeah. I think he yeah. has been feeling set up by Melody. <laughs> Like, yeah, so he decided to be setting he her said, up. Now. Yeah, you you would handle that. Yeah, you see how he was leaning back, checking her out, and he was like, "Why do think she's all about the kids?" Like he was not immediately all upset. Yeah, but child, I think he was fighting Marceau, so I don't know what's going on next. I well, don't know. Because probably let me not get Marceau ahead of myself. He's not going to allow them to attack his mother-in-law. No, because he has to deal with that later. Well, not only that, this is his legacy. This is his family. This is his family. He's not, even though he can't get along with this Wanda, but he's not going to sit back, let you attack his children's grandmother. That wouldn't make any sense. Because how would his kids look at him? Yeah. So, So, I mean, I can see why Marceau got involved. And then Melanie. And then Maurice is going to get involved because it's his brother. (laughs) See the stuff is gone. This one. My thing badly. is, I feel oh, like Lord. you guys are sitting down there talking about how old is Miss Wanda? How old are y'all? I Fighting your elder. They're almost in their forties, aren't they? Pushing fifty. Where is the damn common sense? <laughs> it's nowhere there. Yeah. Pushing fifty, acting like this. Y'all should be ashamed of yourself. I'm never gonna sit down here and go and fight a grandmother. I don't. That make no I, sense. I, I, honestly, I don't, I don't care. care if she, she called me a hoe. I don't care if she, she called me a call slut me from a the eighties. in the streets. I do not call care. All my children, all kinds of names. I am not, and my kids are not gonna give a damn. Either. I'm gonna say, eh, eh, woey. Let me pray for her because she always, always has some bitterness in yeah, her I heart. Mean, my kids I'm for her to say something like that. Bent out of shape because some old lady is talking bad about them. I feel like people are going to talk about they you know. regardless. I they mean, really, at the end of the day, you have to take what you want to take and then take what you don't. Like, people are going to talk about you, it that's regardless. That's what you have to teach your children, too. I mean, somebody Someone say, gossip about you. I somebody mean, you say something you nasty about you, okay? Um, okay. I, I wish you well. I hope that um, whatever bitterness you have in your heart, you heal that. I'm but I'm going to keep it pushing. I'm London Bridge. Really? Oh, okay. Oh, and, and, I'm, and I'm selling drugs? Oh, wow. What? Oh, I've never even been to London. I've only been to Africa. But I don't Who know. Who was that? Was I there? Was my spirit there? <laughs> Take a picture and send it to me, okay? Yes, so Thank you. Thank I you need for to telling see me. This. <laughs> yes, mm. my dear. Like, come on. This is just it's so crazy. It's called having common sense. <laughs> it, it starts up here, and then it should travel and, in your and spirit. That's what Marshall has been saying. Like, they, everyone has come with this. That they have seen me here. They see me there. There's no proof. I think that's why I like Marcel because he, he's, he's like, and I'm not going kill. to, I'm, I'm not, not going, going to, to start indulge. yelling and screaming at yeah. that person who lied on me. I don't have the energy. And People all will always lie on you. I think that's what annoyed Melody if I Yeah, tell. because Marcel was not. He wasn't taking that bait. He wasn't easily rattled. You know, and he's like, Tisha, stop taking the bait. To Tisha. She said, stop being on the social media. Quit that stuff. <laughs> And I think she took that advice finally. That She's like, I, didn't even I am see not that. there. That's why yeah. I'm not there. Like you know, mm-hmm. I'm just I'm not on social media. But you know, I can always ask my daughter what's going on because she's on some of the social media. Yeah, so. y'all. But it's Mary. And I'm a uh, comment down below what you think of this foolishness. I know. But we invite you guys to like. And are you surprised that Kim has become a gossiping lady? Kim, you're really bothered by do this. Not, I am because I because I I feel for her. Yeah. I feel like Maurice is taking her down this bad alley. 
you know, Kim was, we can always count on Kim. To be even Kim. To be and even be the Kim, peacemaker. to tell the truth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To keep it real. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to see her as a culpability. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Kim, don't go down that path. You know, before you go down that path, dump Maurice. <laughs> Deuces. But yes, y'all, it's yeah. Mary. Look, or pull a Marceau. Go to Africa without Maurice. And tell you that you're going on vacation. Yes, y'all. And let's see how he handled himself for a week. Go to Zanzibar. And maybe then he will understand your value. And be like, you know something? I got to get my shit together. So that she actually don't leave me. Yeah. Anywho. But it's Mary. And Amma. Be my chance to like. Subscribe. Share. And comment. Down below.